thought would have been funny as hell is she killed Glenn. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the DC Comics Miss Shoujo Black Canary. If you try to pick one of these up, you can pre-order my big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Thank you to Kotobukiya for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from them, check the links below. Pretty standard Miss Shoujo packaging over here. You can see the statue right inside through this window box. Nice image right over there. Now, on the side, we get the similar image on the side. Then over here, there's a long read-up. If you want to read it, pause it now. Coming soon, Raven. Nice statue. I cannot wait to open it, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here is Black Canary out of the packaging. An absolutely stunning piece. I do appreciate the legs on the female body, and this is a very leggy figure. I do have one complaint about it, which I'll mention later on in the video. But for the most part, I really, really like this statue a lot. I really like this pose. It's a very beautiful looking black canary, and I really like the details in the sculpt that we get on this figure. So let's take a closer look. So the word Bishoujo translates into pretty girl, and this is a very pretty face over here. I really like it a lot. Nice pretty blue eye. She's all squinting. How could you not be charmed by that, huh? Look at that. And very nice metallic look for the lipstick. Or it's not so much metallic, but glossy pink paint right there for the lips. I think that looks really good. I really like the wink. The hair is sculpted out very nicely. I really like it. Now, when I was first looking at this, I was thinking, oh, there's no paint detailing or anything like that in the hair. But it does have a very nice pearlescent texture to it, and it just glimmers nicely. So for me, that makes up for it. I really like having that kind of detail in there. Uh, if the hair doesn't have paint detail in it, at least if you make it, you know, pearlized, shiny, or some way or another, I think it looks cool. Then looking right over here, you get these nice little pieces of hair just swooshing all over the place. It looks really nice. I really like this sculpt a lot. Looks really good. Come around through the front right here once again. And I really like the details in her jacket. She has this leather jacket on, and we get a lot of nice sculpted wrinkles right there. Really like the flesh tone. The hand and the glove look really nice. That's pretty good. And looking right on the back, you can see how it's kind of swooshing upwards. So she has this really cool biker jacket. Nice silver paint right here. Nice seam sculpted throughout really nice. And then I really like how the gravity came out. And what I mean by gravity is just because that right arm is moving upwards, so it's going to take the breasts in a new direction right over here. And I think they did a really good job with that. And there's also some really nice paint detail right here on top of the nice sculpt. You know, you get some nice paint right there going right down the center of the rib cage, and the breasts are textured nicely with the paint as well. So it looks really nice. Very nice cleavage. I really dig the wrinkles right here in her onesie. And that looks really cool. She has a unitard kind of thing going on. It reminds me of a bathing suit a little bit. Really nice wrinkles in there. And I really love that we get the actual meshy fishnet right over here. Kind of like how we've gotten on the Satana. Now my one complaint with this figure is that I feel like the back end could have been a little bit bigger over here. I don't know. That's just my personal preference though. I'm very impressed with the amount of paint detail that we get underneath the fishnets though. It's really hard to see but there is some nice added shadowing effect right there with the paint underneath the fishnet. Which I think is an extra step they didn't really have to do because it's kind of hard to see. So they could have just gotten away without doing it, but they did add the nice paint detail, and it really does make the legs pop even more so. So very, very nice details on that. I really like it a lot. The boots look really good. Get the high heels right over here. Very nice looking figure. And then looking at her base, which she is attached to, and it's very good that it's not removable because due to this pose, she is leaning forward a bit. You can see how much she's leaning forward like that. So I'd rather this not be removable. But taking a closer look at this right here, I like how you get this sonic wave going on, which is very appropriate for the character. And this is all sculpted. This isn't just painted lines. You can feel the little bumps as you move across right there. So I think that's great. Now to measure Black Canary up to the top of her head, she's standing a little over nine inches tall. Over up to the top of her hand, she's at about 11 inches. Then here's Black Canary compared to some other DC Bishoujo statues. We have Zatanna, Wonder Woman, and Starfire. And then just to be thorough, here's a size comparison from a different angle. And then here's Black Canary next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Now once again, I think this statue is just absolutely gorgeous. I love the flow right here with the movement of the statue, and it's just a beautiful looking piece. I think Kotobukiya just hits it out of the park with these Bishoujos every time. I absolutely love them. I hope you guys absolutely loved my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of the boxes right over here if you want more shart in your face. If you're of the age of 18 or older, please check out the Patreon account. And big thanks to the patrons for making the Big Time Letdown Spider-Man compilation video public. Also, if you're any age, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and check out Toy News com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.
at your fingers every day. I'm posing at your fingers, I'm posing at your fingers, I'm posing at your fingers. That's crispy. And then to compare with...